Good morning. Where are we today? The house of the Lord. And what is today? Resur Come on, guys. A little louder. Resurrection Sunday. The reason why we're even here. Can I get an amen to that? Everybody happy to be here? Hallelujah. Can we all stand this morning? Oh, glory to God. As we get our hearts ready to approach the throne of grace. As we go into consecration. Everybody just get into position. Get our hearts in the posture to approach our king. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that we're yet here another Sunday. And what a Sunday it is. The reason for us to be here. Oh, glory to God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we woke up this morning. Many didn't make it to this day. We have life. Lord God, we have the, the function of our limbs, our eyes, our ears. We had food on our table. We had a roof over our head. And Lord God, we thank you that we are here present in the house. Father, we just want to give you praise. We want to honor you this morning. We want to glorify your matchless name. We want to lift you up because you are indeed holy. You are indeed righteous. You are altogether magnificent, God. Lord, we just extol your name this morning. We thank you, sweet Jesus. For that sacrifice on that cross 2,000 years ago. And that, that the death did not hold you down in that grave. Oh, but you rose again, triumphant King. Yeah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. You rose again. And so, Father God, we thank you hey, for that sacrifice. And just as you died and died to sin, so we too died to sin. And as you rose, we rose again with you in newness of life. Lord God, that we have life and life more abundantly in you. And so, Father, we come presenting ourselves before you this morning. We say, Lord, wash us afresh. Cleanse us, Lord, for all the things that would beset us, all the sins that would beset us, Lord. Purge us with hyssop this morning. Lord, wash us with that crimson blood that was shed on that cross. Lord Jesus, create in us hearts that are pleasing to you, a clean heart, Lord. Lord, remove everything that would hinder us from connecting with you, our master. Lord, anything, any resentment. Lord God, any pride, any doubt, any fear, any anxiety. Lord, any heaviness of spirit, any depression, oppression, oh God. All carnal weaknesses. Lord God, help us, Lord, that we may come clean and empty before you this morning, Lord. Purge us with his up, Lord. Lord, create in us that clean heart that you require, Lord, because we want to see your face. Lord God, as we come, Lord, we pray that every instrument, every article, every chair, every table, every tile, every door, every window be consecrated by that blood. We pray, Lord, that your holy presence would come and sit upon us this day. May it be a glorious day in your presence, O great God of Israel. We thank you, Lord, that it's no longer us that live, but Christ that liveth in us. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for all that you have done and are doing. Lord, may those that come with heavy weights, Lord God, may they lay them at the altar today. Lord, those who are oppressed in their minds, Lord, may they come with a freeness in their spirit. Lord, you said you come to set the captives free. And so we pray, Lord, that there be freedom in the spirit. Lord, those who are bound, Lord, that may they be loose, Lord. Those with sickness and disease, may they receive healing, Lord. Lord God, who, those who don't even know you, Lord, may they come to accept you this day. What a glorious day, Lord God, that when Mary went to that tomb, no, nothing was there because you rose, Lord God, again. We thank you, Lord, that you are the true and living God who sit at high. You reign and rule your sovereign king. You are our all in all, the I am that I am. Adonai is your name. 
We worship and adore you. You are holy, God. You are holy. You are righteous. You are altogether magnificent, God. And we come to honor you this morning. We come to give you praise, Lord. May your praises come up to you as sweet incense in your nostrils, Lord. Lord God, may you receive that which we come to offer. Touch the one that would come with the praise and worship, Brother Karen, Lord. Touch, Lord God, the, the, the team, the tech team, Lord God. Touch the one that would bring the word, Lord. May it be like fire, oh God, in our spirit, so great God of Israel. We thank you again for our father and mother of the house, Lord. We thank you for bringing them back safely here, Lord. Cover them under your blood. Lord, we love them. Oh God, our parents who are such wonderful shepherds. Continue to undergird them, Lord. Continue to pour into them, King Jesus, as we follow them as they follow you, Christ. We give you the praise. We give you the honor that is due unto you. And we say, take your place, King Jesus. We decrease and you increase. Come and be glorified in this place, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your matchless name. Lift up holy hands and welcome the Holy Ghost in this place this morning. Lift up your hands and welcome the Holy Ghost. It is you that we are honoring, Lord. Take center stage, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Somebody open your mouth and bless God in this place. Come on, you can praise him better than that. Hallelujah. In St. John 11, verse 25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And though you were dead, yet shall he live. Hallelujah. And we stand this morning upon the resurrection power of Christ in this house to celebrate him come on somebody we're here to celebrate our salvation without the resurrection there would have been no salvation it would mean that god is dead and then we would not have a need to gather to bless him but this morning we stand in the resurrection power and that means that we have overcome sin that we live in hope and that we have the assurance of new life with Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so God, we just thank you for that old rugged cross this morning. Thank you for that old rugged cross, God. So I'll cherish the old rugged Till my throne feels the last I lay down. See, I will cling to the old rugged cross. Oh. Everybody, so I'll cherish, so I'll cherish the old rugged cross. Oh, 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 till my troll be the last I lay down. I will clean. Oh, 
will ever be true. Yeah, it's shame and reproach gladly bear. Oh, then he'll call me someday to my. to declare that the blood of Jesus ransomed us and that there is power in the blood of Jesus. Anybody believe that this morning? Come on, let's just put our hands together. It's a morning of celebration. Our God is not dead and it's a reminder that he came so that you and I can live freely. Oh, the blood of Jesus right to me. He paid the price and set me free. Everywhere I go, I want the world to know. The blood of Jesus right to me. The blood of Jesus right to me. He paid the price and set me free. Everywhere I go. I want the world to know the blood of Jesus. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood. Come on, say, there is power. Power to save. 
a joyful noise unto the Lord. Come on to somebody. And the best noise you can make that is joyful is praising God. Come on somebody say hallelujah. Come on. Put your hands together. Jesus is alive. Hey, 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 hey,
somebody open your mouth uh, and just begin to exalt the king of kings uh, and the lord of lords uh, and the conquering lion of the tribe of judah come on somebody open your mouth and just to heal him uh, somebody shabbat the king of kings come on shabbat jesus emmanuel you are the prince of peace oh god you are the bomb and give jesus we glorify you. Let's just do that one more time. Everybody, just go ahead and bless his name. Yeah. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, Lord. We lift you high. We lift you high. Above all powers. Above all kings. Above all nature. Oh, wisdom and all the way 
Yeah, God. <laughs> you are forever, God. Come on, somebody declare it. For your sins.
amazing God hey. that none can compare. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you. When I think of all the ways that you made, there's nobody like you, Lord. I took 
a breath. You breathe your life in me. You have been so, so He's always fighting for us. See, you have been so, so good. Everybody sing this part. When I felt no work, when I felt no work, you paid it all for me. Come on, testify. Say, you have been. Yeah. And oh, oh, the overwhelming. I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it, till you gave yourself away, and all the overwhelming, reckless love of God, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming at me, yeah.
for loving me, God. Thank you for choosing me, God. Thank you for redeeming. Thank you for saving. Thank you for keeping. Thank you for resurrection. Thank you for revival. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your power. just 15 more seconds to just bless God like we really want to bless him in this place and at the count of three every worshiper every believer every born again saved person everyone with life in your body you're gonna shout a praise unto God I want you to give God your best praise I want you to praise him like you've never praised him before one hallelujah two hallelujah three somebody give God glory hallelujah thank you Jesus we bless you God we praise you father you're worthy
because you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life thank you for the reckless love Lord God thank you for the reckless love thank you because up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph over his foes hallelujah our God is beyond Shia Hasu Rusakasaya Shusayanda Basu Rusakasaku Soto Hallelujah! Thank you, Jehovah, for the life, the hope in Christ Jesus. You shall sasai, who shall masaku soku sasai. We are filled with thanksgiving, Lord God, unto you. Resurrection Sunday is Thanksgiving Sunday. Hallelujah! Thank you for salvation, Lord God Almighty, because Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Thank you, Jehovah God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood, Lord God, that was shed on the cross of Calvary. Shaya Sakusu Shika Sakai Soto Rosho Kosa. Thank you for the protection in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for redeeming us through the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the altar of the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. Thank you for the sacrifice that Jesus Christ became. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 Shiro Sika Sakai. Hallelujah. So 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 kind. She says he can sat to you, Sakasa. Lord God, we want to bow before you this morning in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. We want to worship in reckless abandon, Lord God Almighty. Even as we do it in order. Hallelujah. 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 Because we are grateful, Jehovah God Almighty, for the finished work of the cross on the cross of Calvary. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Not his will, but yours be done. Hallelujah. 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 And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Thank you, Jehovah God. We thank you, Jesus. 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 We thank you. 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 Hallelujah. For tearing the veil, Lord God, that is to say your flesh. Hallelujah. Shoo Sakasai. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you can allow us to approach, come into the holiest of holies. Hallelujah. Because of the finished work on the cross of Calvary. Lord, we are grateful this morning. We are grateful. We want to give you thanks, Lord God Almighty. We want to just lay aside everything and just give you thanks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the finished work. It was not incomplete. It was complete. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for victory. Hallelujah. That's in Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for Jesus Christ, who is the express image of the invisible God. Thank you that because of him, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We celebrate you this morning, Lord God. We celebrate you. We acknowledge your goodness. Hallelujah. We acknowledge your faithfulness. We acknowledge your mercy. We acknowledge your love. Lord God, thank you for bringing everybody here safely. Thank you for having escorted them here in your presence like dignitaries. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you for your angelic host, Lord God Almighty, that brought our father and mother back here. Hallelujah. Thank you for having kept them, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. As the dignitaries there were, Lord God, overseas in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for having taken our guest speaker here safely, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the ALC. Thank you, Lord God, for the members and the workers. Thank you for the musicians, the technicians. Thank Thank you for the instruments, Lord God. I just want to give you a good thanks for each and every person who is here in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, Resurrection Sunday is Thanksgiving Sunday. I thank you, Lord God. Thank you for everything that we take for granted. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Shout a hallelujah in the house. It is the third day and the two.
room is empty, let me hear a hallelujah praise in the house. Jesus died on the cross, yes. Jesus was buried, yes. But he rose on the third day. And because he rose, we have a reason to be grateful. We have a reason to lift him up. We have a reason to shout hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you that you are the lamb that was slain. And we thank you that you rose triumphant. We lift you up and honor you. Come on and stand in the house. If you are able to stand in the house, go ahead and stand. So that we can honor the king of kings and the lord of lords. The one that thought about us while we were yet sinners. And died on the cross so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you are standing, put your hands above your heads and give him a clap offering this morning. Hallelujah. He deserves it. He, as a matter of fact, he deserves more than we can give. Amen. So it's only right for us to give him our everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We honor you, mighty Father. We thank you. Before you take your seats, I'm going to ask you to put your hands together as we bless the Lord for blessing us with our spiritual father, Pastor David Lewis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And keep standing and keep the applause going. As we big up God for our spiritual mother, Reverend Georgia Lewis. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. They are indeed a blessing to the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, I want to take the opportunity to give welcome and acknowledge the executive leadership team that continues to keep the hands of our leaders lifted as we work in this side of the vineyard. We love the members of our ELT, the executive leadership team. Yes. Amen. We also want to acknowledge all the workers in the vineyard. Hallelujah. If you are a worker in the kingdom of God, this is a time you put your hands together for yourselves. Amen. Amen. We bless you for continuing to contribute to the building of the kingdom with your time, talent, and treasure. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, our day would not be as special as it is without the presence of some very special persons and those would be our guests. If you are joining us as a guest for the very first time or if it is the second time, I'm going to ask that you stand so that we can properly acknowledge you this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Put your hands together for them one more time. Hallelujah, yes. And in the true Cajun fashion, for those who are sitting closely to them, please extend your hands and let them feel welcome. Our ushers will be joining you with a form that you can fill out with your information because, of course, we don't want today to be the last time we are in contact with you. And so we need to get your information so we keep the connection alive. Amen. Amen. And if you are tuning in online and you are also a guest that's online for the first time, we thank you for stopping the scroll. We thank you for accepting the invitation from whoever would have sent you that link and decided to join us on Facebook at Kingdom Grace International Ministries, on YouTube at Kingdom Grace International Ministries. Welcome to KJIM. 
We bless God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you are tuning in for the first time and you may not have yet liked or subscribed to our page, please go ahead and do so. And while you do so, please also share to someone else because there is a word and somebody needs to hear it. So please go ahead and like it and share it. Amen. Amen. And if you are tuning in online and you have not yet understood or experienced what it means to be in the room, we are here at Shop 7, Phil's Hardware Plaza, and this is a special invitation for you to not just tune in online, but for you to step in the room because something happens when you get in the room. Amen. Amen. Our services begin at 8.30 a.m. here live in the room at K Gym, and so we would look forward to hosting you here along with the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So at this time, we want to, of course, recognize our partners. Kingdom Grace International Ministries, being in operation for two years, would not have been the same without our partners. And so we want to bless the Lord for you. At this time, we want to just thank you for continuing to partner with us. All over the globe, we have partners, and so we thank you for your dedication and to continue to pour in to our outreach initiatives and efforts here at Kingdom Grace, through which, through which we are able to make not just local impact, but global impact. So we through our Kingdom Grace Care Program, we are able to feed families that are in need locally, but we are also able to fund a school that was founded by our pastors in Kasur, Pakistan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is global impact. And through this program, we not only provide school supplies to the students and ensure that the teachers are paid, but we also ensure that they have clean water that is provided to them on a monthly basis. And so we thank you. And if you're hearing about our KGM Care Program for the first time, you're hearing about KGM Partnership for the first time, you may not know what it is or how to be a part of it. Let me invite you to go to our YouTube page at Kingdom Grace International Ministries for those who are on Facebook. If you are already on YouTube, you are at the right place. You just need to go on the, on the About tab. Once you click on the About tab, you will see the different links where you can sow in the different areas of the ministry. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm just going to pause just a moment and just give every person who has not yet shared the link, has not yet liked, has not yet subscribed or turned on your notification bell. Go ahead and do so now. Amen. You do not want to miss out on what the Lord is doing through kingdom grace. Amen. Amen. Minister. Minister. Amen. And of course, before I go over to the announcements, I have to, of course, acknowledge our guest speaker, Minister Crescendo Christie. Amen. Amen. He is indeed a blessing. We have heard him speak before, and we were truly blessed. So we're looking forward to what the Lord will do through him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So now it's time for our announcements and they are as follows. On a Tuesday, we have fasting service in the house at 11 a.m. Amen. And it continues to 1 p.m. And for those of you who are in the house already or you're online and you hear the excitement when I mention fasting service, you know that chains are broken when you enter in the room on fasting service. So come out on Tuesday at 11 a.m. so that the Lord can have his way in your life. Amen. Amen. So we fast on a Tuesday and we feast online on a Wednesday for our Bible study. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, it's fresh meat that is served on Bible study on a Wednesday. 
and we do our Bible study on our Facebook page and on our YouTube page. And it begins at 7.45 p.m. So we look forward to having you online. Amen. Amen. Just to remind you before I hand over that we have our One Soul More campaign that is forever active at Kingdom Grace because we are passionate about evangelism. Amen. And although we're happy about the many souls that came in for the first time, we still want one soul more. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so for our celebratory segment, we know that the butlers celebrated their wedding anniversary for 27 years of marital bliss. They celebrated last Sunday. Amen. And they are still celebrating. If you are in the house and you're celebrating a birthday today, we celebrate with you. We bless God for you. If you are online, and whether it's a birthday or an anniversary or whatever special occasion it is that you are celebrating today, we celebrate with you and we bless the Lord for you. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm going to introduce the musicians who have a special musical interlude for Resurrection Sunday. Please enjoy as a minister under the Holy Ghost. Amen.
And let us give the musicians a round of applause. Yes. Come on, today's Resurrection Sunday, everyone. He is risen. He is risen. Hallelujah. 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 Now today we come to a time of the service where everyone should be excited. So I'm going to read in your hearing a verse of scripture coming from 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7. And it says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver. So we just saw the musicians giving unto God their worship through praying. And today we're going to ask you as you prepare your offering and your tithes to have that same mind of worship. Because God loves a cheerful giver. And as you prepare your offerings and your tithes and your seed, I'm going to ask you to take your mind back to that day. Not just the day that he died, that he was placed on the cross for our sins, but as today we recognize it as Resurrection Sunday, I'm going to ask you to take your mind back to that day when we realize that he is risen. And so as you prepare your tithes and offering, you're going to give it an assignment this morning. But the assignment that you're going to give to your tithes and offering is to resurrect something that was dead in your life. So there was something that you were believing God for and it appears as if it was dead and buried. But this morning as you give your offering, you're going to give your offering knowing that today is Resurrection Sunday and that if he did it before, he's able to do it again. So as you take your offering and as you come to give, what is that thing? Is it that there is a sickness in your body that needs to leave? Because that's death and that's not your portion. Is there a promotion that you've been believing for and you feel like you've been passed over? Is there something, a house, a car? Is there a child, a friend, a family that it seems as if their situation is dead and they will never come to Christ? This morning, as you give your offering, I'm going to ask you to give that offering an assignment. It's Resurrection Sunday. So just to remind you that your tithe is 10% of anything that God has given unto you. So if it is that you are working and you have a salary, then it is 10% of what you earn. If you have your own business, it's 10% of the revenues from that business. If you are given a gift, it's 10%. That is your tithe. And then your offering is any free will gift that you have decided in your heart to give back into the work of the Lord. And your seed offering is that amount that the Lord has laid on your heart to give. It's Resurrection Sunday and we're still building. So I'm going to invite those as the musicians continue to play on my right to come.
We come in your presence today, mighty God. And as we lift, mighty God, I'm going to ask everyone to stand. My apologies. Father, we come before you, mighty God. And as we lift our tithes and our offering and our seed to you, mighty God. Father God, just like you did on that third day, mighty God, we ask, mighty God, that you will resurrect, mighty God, every dead thing. Mighty God, we ask, mighty God, that as you went down, mighty God, and you took the keys of death and hell and the grave, and you triumphed, mighty God. So, Father God, as we lift our offering to you, mighty God, we believe this morning, mighty God, that that dead situation, mighty God, that dead circumstance, mighty God, is coming to life, mighty God. Father God, that it is resurrected, mighty God. That we have victory, mighty God, over those circumstances in our life. Mighty God, we ask, mighty God, that as you continue to breathe upon it, mighty God. Mighty God, that it will bring forth a harvest, mighty God. Mighty God, not just mighty God, the things we are believing for, but a harvest of souls, Mighty God, we pray to day, mighty God, that mighty God, every amount, mighty God, every cent, mighty God, that is represented in that offering basket will represent a soul for your kingdom. Mighty God, that people, mighty God, will come, mighty God, from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. Just mighty God, as we demonstrated, mighty God, by coming, mighty God, from the right, from the middle, from the left from the back. Mighty God so mighty God will souls mighty God run into your kingdom mighty God. Father God for we know mighty God on this resurrection day mighty God that your will mighty God is that none should perish but that all should come to repentance. So mighty God as we give mighty God we pray mighty God that it will be multiplied mighty God Father God for the care of your people. Father we thank Thank you, mighty God, for allowing us the privilege to give, mighty God, to partner with you this morning. Father God, we pray, mighty God, for those, mighty God, that are giving online, that the same blessing, mighty God, will be appropriated to them, mighty God. For those, mighty God, that might not have to give, mighty God, this morning. Father, you know their hearts, mighty God. So even now, mighty God, we declare, mighty God, that the windows of heaven are open. And mighty God, that there will be a great pouring out, mighty God. That jobs and opportunities will come, mighty God. Just because of the posture of their hearts, mighty God. To give in to your work, mighty God. Father God, doors will be open, mighty God. So that they will have an opportunity to give, mighty God. We thank you once more, Lord. We call it done in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And while you're standing, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome to the podium my spiritual father and a set man of his house, Reverend David Lewis. Hallelujah. Thank you, daughter. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. From you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Can you join me now? Oh, you deserve it all. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Oh, you deserve it. From you are all things, and to you are all things. Tell him, from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Sing to your God one more time. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. 
Yes, Lord. From you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. From you are all things, and to you are all things. From you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. I'm waiting for somebody to get that revelation. Oh, what a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to it. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Hey, nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name. Somebody lift your hands right now and just tell him something wonderful. Take 10 seconds and just to tell him something wonderful. Tell him something wonderful. Tell him something wonderful. Oh! Tell him something wonderful. Tell him something wonderful. Mm. Yes, yes. You have no equal, Lord, forever you shall reign, for yours is the kingdom, yours is the glory. Oh, what a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, the name Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. Oh, oh, oh. nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, 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 nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. You know, the next verse is, You are my healer, Lord. But before you can receive from Him, you have to give Him. So before you can even experience him as your healer, he wants you to first give him the glory. Is there somebody here today that you know your God deserves the glory? Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. In spite of whatever we go through, oh, oh, there's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Oh, oh, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. We lay our crowns and worship. Some of you need to learn to worship, you know. I don't feel you, I don't sense you, I don't see you in the spirit. We lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God. 
touch him. We praise your name. He's the main attraction today. We lay our crowns and worship. Oh, glorious God. supernatural right now for those of you your worship has touched God expect a supernatural move in your life right now right now lift your hands somebody say I receive Spirit of the Lord says today, this Resurrection Sunday, there's some of you, you're coming into a place of establishment where it's about to establish you so that his kingdom can come and his will can be done in the earth through you. For you to be established you must have no desire, no objectivity, no personal agenda that supersedes the plan of God. There's a grace that is about to come into this room right now. There are two persons. Grace is about to release to you right now. There are two individuals here. You're going through what you're going through, but you still have a worship. Your worship sat on your altar and it rose to God. God says that it's entering his nostrils like a sweet smelling savor. I prophesy over your life according to the word of God. Your worship has shifted you into a new season. May this day, March 31st, may be the beginning of your new days being established in the earth so that God's will can be done. Mm. We bless your name. There are another three people. The Spirit of the Lord just told me just to prophesy over your life. There's something that started but died. Two of you, four years ago, something significant in your life died. God is saying your worship has touched him and today that which was dead has now come alive. You will leave this place different. You leave this place different today. You leave this place different. You leave this place different. 
I wonder if it's somebody online because your amen is not loud. Yes. Mm. That which was dead has now come al not going to, but it has now. Mm. Somebody receive that. My God Almighty. There are somebody here that your business, your business has been dying for the last 18 months. You have been losing, you have been losing, you have been losing. Today is the day that God supernaturally resurrects that business. My God. Somebody online get this. There is a marriage that has been on the rocks that is dying. God says today he is resurrecting marriages. Supernaturally, my God, some of you, you thought that the love was dead. You look at the wife and you just can't find that love. You look at the husband and you can't. God says today, the next time you look into the eyes of your husband, you are going to feel love like never before. The next time you look into the eyes of your wife, you are going to feel love for her like never. He is resurrecting marriages. Yes. Mm. We lay our crowns and worship you. We Give him a sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Hey, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. something for two minutes? Can I do that? Preacher, you have to give me the time. Tell me. If you say no, we hand over to you. Good. Yes. Yes. Can I teach you something for two minutes? Never forget this. It's your sacrifice that speaks for you. Yes. Some of you, you don't understand the concept of sacrifice. Let me explain this. You come to church and you're going through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Things are tough and things are, you can't even explain what you're going through and why you're going through it. But while you are going through it and everything is against you, in that moment, against despondency, against depression, against pain, when you push past that and you lift your hands... That is sacrifice. That is what speaks for you. Yeah. When you are tired, let me tell you something. When I am tired and I have a full week, tired, my eyes are shutting down and I cannot sleep. I, I, I'm so, have you been tired that you can't sleep? Talk to me now. Man of God, till you can't sleep, don't it? Your body feel like it's shutting down. Listen to me. 
that tiredness becomes your sacrifice when you pray. So I've been there where I've been so tired where my body is shutting down and I push past it and I say a prayer. That tired state is what is on your altar and that is what God sees. That is why when you come in the presence of God, it is not the words that come out of your mouth. It is the posture of your heart. Because God sees sacrifice from our hearts and not our mouth. So you can be shouting hallelujah, hallelujah, but the posture of your heart is nowhere near sacrifice. Do you know that sometimes we are idolaters? Because your situation, you have given it preeminence in your life. When you are tired and you do not do the work of God, you have, you have made tiredness your altar. You have made tiredness your idol. Can I tell you something else? Some of you, you have made poverty your idol. Because you do not have the money, you put everything on poverty. Did you know, let me tell you something. Do you know why I broke the back of poverty? When I didn't have, I gave. Can, you tell me, can I tell you something else? Do you know as a young man, I born and grew in the ghetto. Things were bad and miserable around me. And you know how I broke out of that state of sadness? Some of you are sad. You know why? Because you have made sadness your idol. I willfully broke myself into joy in the midst of pain. In the midst of now have nothing to eat sometime. In the midst of going to school and, and, and my God. The day you learn to sacrifice is the day you live an overcomer's life. You know what I learned on my holiday? Sacrifice. I watch these people that they are of the Muslim faith. They pray five times. They put me to shame. They pray five times every single day. Every day. They are disciplined. Can I tell you? Sometimes not even pastor pray five times a day. You're not ready for, for this honesty, you know. Some of you want me to lie to you. Man of God. Some of these people don't even know God. But they're more devout than us that know God. I was on holiday and I was repenting while I was enjoying myself. Because I've never been on a plane and get up out of my seat and spread a towel and say, Father, I'm on this plane. I don't care about these 200 people that are watching me, but let me pray before you. I see these people wherever they are. They are over 30,000 feet in the air and they do these things. They are on their job and they beg excuse and they go it, 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 it don't matter what your problem is or what you are doing their time to God is more important man of God and they kneel down in the airport so much so that the airport have prayer rooms the airport has men prayer room and women prayer room these people on planes, it don't matter if there's turbulence. They kneel and they pray. It doesn't matter if there's food on their table. It don't matter if they're broke. They understand the life of sacrifice. Sacrifice. Somebody say sacrifice. You want to encounter Jesus Christ as the resurrection and the life. And you don't know how to sacrifice. I have come back with a fresh fire. 
I have come back with a fresh determination. And God says the next level is going to be birth through sacrifice. Can I say something before I give over the mic? Some of you, you're giving your money, but you're not sacrificing. You think your tithe and your offering can sacrifice for you. You give your tithe and your offering, but you don't have a praise. Tell the person beside your neighbor, Osh. It at but Osh. There is no Kisco and syrup today from pastor. There is Cersei. Your tithe and your offering, if your heart is not sacrificing, you are donating. Because there's a difference between donating and sowing. Some of you, you're giving and you can't see it. You know why there's no, because your seed come from your heart. It don't come from your pocket. My God. I missed you all. And I love you all. Clap your hands and give the Lord glory. The reason why I did this, the Spirit of the Lord prompted me to. Because the moment I stepped into the pulpit, I became extra aware. And I wasn't seeing enough light. Some of you, 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 I'm telling you, mm -mm, I, I'm supposed to see fire and I'm not seeing fire. I'm supposed to be seeing light and I don't see light. May the fire of your altar never go out. It doesn't matter what you go through. A matter of fact, the more you go through is the more wood must be on your fire. This week, we are going on fasting and prayer. Yes. I am still on vacation, but God, I'm, I'm fasting and prayer. The Lord said fasting and prayer. Church, somebody say fasting and prayer. Yes. For the next seven days, it's going to be about sacrifice. It's not about I need a breakthrough. You will get no breakthrough until you learn to sacrifice. It is you are cutting and calling flesh. And you're building stamina before the almighty God. So that when he sees you, he doesn't even see you. He sees your sacrifice. Some of you, you are louder than your sacrifice. You are more prominent than your sacrifice. The day you are louder than your sacrifice is the day you are going to be. going to give the preacher back his time. But you had to get this strong rebuke. And, and you know, beloved, I'm being kind. It's not a strong rebuke. I'll just give you a rebuke. It's not a strong rebuke. Somebody lift your hands and say, Lord, may my sacrifice be found acceptable. Yes. Hey, I love when you know I want to see you guys do so well, you know. But some of you, man, your, your flesh too loud. Your flesh louder than your spirit. And it tells me that your prayer life is non-existent. It tells me that your fasting life gone down. The day your flesh is louder than your spirit, it tells me that there's, that's an anomaly. Yes. Anytime me as pastor, anytime I realize that my flesh, my fleshly desire is louder than my spirit, I, I remove myself and go and pray and fast. We come in the presence of God. And the tangible presence of God is in the place. And 
some of you, you don't know how to respond to him. Your flesh is too alive. Can we do it now for two minutes? You deserve it all. You deserve it all. From you are all things. And to you are all things. You deserve the glory. You deserve it all. You deserve it all. From you are all things. And to you are all things. From you are all things. And to you are all things. From you are. From you are all things. Who you are, all things, you deserve the glory. Without noise, without the music being loud, you just touch God. Because you sacrifice your worship from your heart. Before, we were just doing it by flesh. We were just lifting hands and moving and saying words. But now you are in the spirit. Stay there. Stay there. Every time we come into this house, check yourself. Am I in the spirit or, or is my flesh loud? And make sure you teleport and transpose yourself. person beside your neighbor I'm glad to see you I'm glad to see you and I love you with the love of the Lord tell two more persons neighbor I'm glad to see you tell somebody I love you with the love of the Lord hey tell somebody that you haven't seen in a while I love you and I love you with the love of the Lord I'm glad to see you Clap those hands unto the Lord. Shout unto him with a voice of triumph. Yes, 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 yes. Let your hallelujah be loud. Let your hallelujah be. Hey. My God Almighty. I love the Lord. Listen. I want to introduce to you today a man of God. He has a word from the Lord to deliver to you. Hallelujah. We're so honored to have him and blessed to have him today. Can you put your hands together for him? Yes. He's a friend and brother of this house. Hallelujah. He is no other person than minister. Crisando Christie. Put your hands together as he comes. Let's give the Lord glory for him. God bless you. I love you, my brother. Hallelujah. 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 We serve an awesome God. We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Amen. Amen. Is your God go to you this morning? Let me see it in your expression of your worship. If God has been good to you this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I must greet the Holy Spirit which is the head of my life. And to our host pastor, 
my friend and brother. Really dearly love this man of God, eh? Pastor David Lewis. Let's give him a round of applause. He's doing a wonderful work in this side of the vineyard. And beside every good man, there's always a good woman. And you know, the thing that attracted me to this woman was the way how she worships. The first time I saw her, I did not see her, but I saw her worship. And you know, it pulled me to get to know them. And the first conversation we had about three hours oh, sit down for after church. And the wives were like, we need to go now. We need to go now. And, you know, the friendship has built over the years. And, you know, during the course of the friendship, and he shared this vision, and I've seen the manifestation just a little bit because there are branches that are coming to kingdom grace. Amen? We are here in Resurrection Sunday. And I believe that there are some things that are dead in some of us lives. But today is the day, my God Almighty, where when you witness Marco Shata Pakasa, there shall be life and life more abundantly because the resurrection power has showed up in kingdom grace this morning. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. When I see the man of God worshiping, it is an opportunity to give God thanks for what he is about to do in your life, mighty God. Hallelujah. Woman of God, can I tell you that I appreciate you? You see, if you continue to treat me this way, No, every time I come through, you have to give honor. You understand? Every time I come through these doors, she made me feel like family. And every time I see you serve, you serve with grace. And woman of God, I don't know your name, but I'm praying for you. Because there is something that you're expecting from God. And guess what? It is coming through your sacrifice and oh you serve. And when the man of God touch and sacrifice, I believe that it's a team. It's a team. Like how we are built now, the next team is sacri it's a sacrifice. It speaks on your behalf. And that's why God refused Cain's sacrifice because it did not came from a pure place, but Abel presented a more excellent sacrifice we spoke on his behalf your sacrifice woman of God is speaking in the heavenlies oh shatum bakasaya whatever it is that you are desiring le makosaya the grace is being released or access you too are one that has something dead in your life but because of resurrection restoration is coming to your life because of the resurrection restoration is coming to kingdom grace because of the resurrection revival is coming I don't know, but there is a grace in this place to preach. Anytime I come and feel like I can't even look upon the text. There is a grace to preach. And the account of the resurrection is taken from Matthew this morning. Because you see the latter end of Matthew. It speaks about building Lake Oshaya. It speaks about enhancing and developing the kingdom of God. People of God, some of us, we are stuck on Good Friday. We are stuck at the death of Jesus Christ. We have not surpassed the death. The death was important for the manifestation of the resurrection to prove who he truly is. That he is the life and the resurrection so that you can witness that the tomb is empty. So that people can come and see that within the dry burial. But we are you, you saw me. I am no longer there because of the resurrection. 
power that is locked up on the inside. You know why the resurrection is important? Because man was dead. And the wages of sin is dead. And the penalty for our sin was dead. But he took on. He took it on. You know why he took it on, woman of God? Because God designed men to have dominion in the earth. And that the earth reflect the kingdom of heaven. And because of sin, there was a breach. So we could not reflect God in his fullness anymore. Because the vessel of men were marred. Because we were created in the image of God. So when you see me, there is God in me. Because when Jesus was risen, he said, I will leave a comforter. When Jesus was risen, he said, the same power that resurrect Jesus, Lord God, from the dead. That power is in the form of the Holy Spirit. Now lives on the inside of us. So it's simple speaks, man of God. That you are walking power. You are walking resurrection. So things not dead in your life. Because resurrection power is on the inside of you. And you may come for today. Whatever you are fierce with is just a mirage. Because you are walking with the dunamis. You are walking with the power. You don't walk by yourself. You walk with the Father. You walk with the Son. You walk with the Holy Spirit. Three of them join. Today, resurrection is coming to your life. Today, those that rule to off, they will see an empty, 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 empty tomb. The tomb is empty. Because there are some people, let me talk to you. Them bury you and then write you off. Mighty God. And them are come to look for you at the same place that you were laid. Because on that morning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, they knew that they placed him in a tomb. But there was an earthquake. And there was something strategic about this earthquake. It also had another earthquake in the Bible that it did not destroy anything, but it opened a door. So now the stone that separates the dead from the living is now rolled away because the dead is no longer dead. So now we are coming back into life. People of God, people wrote you off, but let me tell you something. Because of the power that you have, we have to come to the understanding why sacrifice is important. Because the Bible says, I lay, I present my body as a living sacrifice. When you do this, the Holy Spirit now comes in and fills you if the sacrifice is now accepted. The tomb is empty. The empty tomb reflects God's power over death. The empty tomb, it reflects your restoration. That you are no longer dead in sin. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So we did not take the life of Jesus, but he laid it down on his own accord because he knew that he has power over death, that it was only for a while. But even though he went through that gruesome act, he is showing us that we too will go through, but we have power over death because Jesus now, oh God, has overcome death, hell, and the grave. Oh, death, Lord God Almighty, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? 
Makushatai, where we come to recognize that he won the victory for us by the resurrection. It is what that determines Christianity above all other religions because we serve a resurrected God. The God that we serve is a living God. When them say Rastafari, Jack dead, Eli Selassie dead, still dead, Buddha dead, still dead, Hare Krishna dead, and still dead, and all the other gods of men's figment imagination, they are dead, remain dead, forever dead, but Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. It simply speaks that when he was resurrected, he will see death no more, because you see Lazarus was resurrected, but he died again. There are several other persons that were resurrected, but they died again. And that's why the scripture says, he is the first Lord God Almighty, born of the dead. And because of the resurrection power, because I've come to recognize that death is one of mankind's greatest enemy. But when you understand who you are in kingdom and you operate as a kingdom ambassador, the ecclesia, and when I look at that word, we always say it is a set apart. But it is a set apart government that is orchestrating and putting things in order in the world that reflects the kingdom of God. So the ideas the revelation comes from heaven and we are entrusted as governors to see it true here on the earth. So the earth should be a reflection of what heaven is. Because the truth is don't stone me. Heaven was not created for man. But because of sin and God has our best interest. Hey, let me tell you, God love you too much for you to give up on him. Imagine having one son and giving him up to bear all the shame, all the disgrace, all the negative speaking and we come at church and we talk about people are talking and people are do this and people are do that. But what he bored so that you and I can be here is nothing compared to what we are going through today. And he would do it again. The agape. And I pray that the church will reach this place that we possess the agape. We love without condition. We love you despite your background. Because once upon a time, you know, my background was not a good background. Where I was brought up can nothing good come from the ghetto. And people wrote me off. Because me never look so polished. And me never look so nice to the natural eyes. But what God looks at is not the outward appearance of man. Because now when my friends see me, my God, they are wondering, who are you? Me and them are the same age, but there's a grace of youth that is upon my life. And it's because of that sacrifice. So people of God, do not be distracted about the thing that seems dead. Because we are walking resurrection. And the, it's not me saying that the Bible said the same power that rose Jesus from the dead, it dwells. And that's the power of the Holy Spirit. And it simply speaks that when you show up, if dead things are dear, the power is in you to resurrect. You can just look upon somebody and say, where you saw me yesterday? Don't visit me there. Because I'm not there anymore. Because Mary Magdalene went to, to worship. 
they went to prepare spies to dress. So my, they might have wondered, who will rule away the stone for me? But upon their surprise, the stone was already rolled away. And there was an angel there that said, do not be afraid. Because of the light that was glowing from him. It was a reflection of the kingdom of heaven on earth. He said, the man that you seek, he was dead. And was speak to your So don't look for my Because I am not there anymore. Some people know your past. And then use your past to bury you. But they don't recognize that you have passed your past. Because of the resurrection power. Because when Jesus was resurrected. What happened? It was restoration. That was come unto man. So now the governor of heaven. Has legal legislation. To roll through the earth. The Holy Spirit don't knock the come up on us but he dwells on the inside of us and because he dwells on the inside the things of the world don't so much affect me because when my God Almighty situation arises my sister it is to prove that the resurrection power is still working on my behalf on your behalf because God has not stopped working he will not stop working because even though he was resurrected, he left a comforter and he did not go. Oh God Almighty, he's left a promise that he will prepare. God Almighty, he gone to prepare. He has gone to prepare. I don't know about you. That's why we have to practice worship. No, because worship is an eternal thing that takes place in heaven. So earth is our present. Oh God, a rehearsal room. Oh God, for what is to be manifested when we get that place. And when you look on the accounts in Matthew 28, they try to discredit the resurrection. People will try to discredit you because they thought they knew about you. They will try to tear you down and build up spurious lies against you to defame, to defraud. To make it seem as if it's a lie. Because when the angel came in the form of that great earthquake, there were two soldiers that were placed there to secure the tomb to ensure that Jesus remained dead. But two soldiers cannot hold the God that we serve. Oh God Almighty, so it simple speaks that the people that want to rise up against the woman of God, they cannot hold you because the God that you serve is a very big God and because you serve a big God, big battles will come for your big God to prove himself strong. Oh God Almighty, when the resurrection power that is locked up on the inside will remind you of the power of that big God because sometimes we might fall off track and get a little distracted like Peter when he was called out but resurrection power will resurrect your belief and your faith and build you up again so that you can believe again so that you have a confident expectation in the finished work of the cross so move from Good Friday move from the dead move from the burial and celebrate the resurrection you know why I celebrate the resurrection? It is to prove no man of God that we have a reunion with Christ. It is to prove that God accepted Christ's sacrifice on our behalf. So that's why now we have resurrection power in the inside. Because the sacrifice of Christ was accepted by God. And he has came back 
into life to show that he is truly the son of God. Those that discredit him now knows that truly he is the son of God. Truly this man was God walking in the flesh. Truly I know that this man is who he said he is. The genuine thing, the original. And when we come to this revelation, we understand that we don't have to fear death anymore. Because the death of the believer is not final. And this was the pillar that Paul his missionary journey on and when he walked he tell the whole world of the good news birth death burial resurrection and when he went to a place in Thessalonica and he was preaching he couldn't steal anchor then beat him out of the place but even though they whipped him, the seed that was stoned caused the ch a church to grow speedily because of the resurrection. And you know, coming to the end of St. Matthew 28, and this was the reason why I chose this scripture. He told them to meet him at a particular place, at a mountain. And he told them that I've given you all authority. Today, kingdom grace, you have all authority. To go e out into all the world. So it simply speaks that you cannot feel comfortable sitting here on fields it is time for you to go eat all the way go eat in green deer go into thompson pen we are going into the neighboring communities because we are now establishing the kingdom of god here on earth so you cannot be lazy people because if you carry resurrection power, it's supposed to reflect somebody that is willing to work. And that's why he would have gone to the disciples before he left them. He gave them instructions. And that same instruction is given unto us today. That we should go e in all. So it means if you go to Beverly Hills alone because the community look nice up there and the people are pushed and it will be probably easy to speak to. And so many times those people are more difficult to speak to than the people in the ghetto. Because they are at a place where they feel like they are more esteemed and established. And that's why some of the times when God calls some people who are rich, beat them down. So that they come to a place of true dependency on the resurrecting source. People of God, that which you think is dead in your life, it is not dead. But it comes to lift your faith and your expectation. Because some of us, we come to church, we don't have an expectation. Then the resurrection power cannot speak on your behalf. You see, when you come into the house of God, woman of God, you have to come with an expectancy that God is about to bring forth a miracle in your life. Because one thing I recognize, that the grace of God is in this place. And I think that's why you are called King.
kingdom grace you are reflecting the kingdom of God here in this place and people of God because you are operating on a grace a supernatural grace every time you walk through those doors walk through with an expectation because resurrection power is here when the time you walk through that door walk through believing that God is about to work a miracle in your life anytime you walk through that door woman of God walk through knowing confidently that the God that you serve is going to answer your prayer why you think your prayers are just for your pastor that you are praying prayer is a petition before almighty God and it simply speaks that I have the legal right to declare and to ask for a thing and know that God will bring it to pass because the God that we serve is not dead he is not dead we serve a risen king and because we serve a risen king we reflect that same thing we are dead to the world and that's why baptism is important because when you are now immersed into the water you are reflecting the death you are now dead to sin you are dead to the slavery that has hold mankind for so long s-i-n oh god that sin chained us and caused us not to have that true relationship and when you are now pulled out of the water you're not resurrected oh all things are passed away and now all things are now become new and it was the same thing with jesus he was given a new body and he said that when the rapture come the dead in Christ shall rise first it simply speaks that when you are risen and oh God almighty there is a new body that you will put on you will put off oh God immortality and put on immortality and this is because of the resurrection power and people of God we have a lively hope and that's why we must not fear death anymore because once you are right in the sight of God once your sacrifice pleases almighty God once you present yourself what is on your altar this morning present me present self so that God can have his way so that he can download his plans for kingdom establishment in you and that's why the sacrifice is necessary so that he can reveal the plan of heaven to you to establish it here on earth people of God it is time for us to rise up because we have power the world need to see this power that we have the resurrection power people need to fear God again we are not called to be a part of a religion we are a government a government established by heaven to rule on the earth. If you look in the Old Testament, it was the church, it was the men of God that gave instruction from God to kings to establish. So we need to come back to that place where we have to understand who we are. And that's another thing that the resurrection does. It restores your identity. Because sin marred man's identity. And Jesus had to pay the ultimate price so that our identity could be restored. And because our identity now is restored, we come to a recognition that we are not ordinary people and everywhere we go we act as an ambassador not for a local government not for the honorable Andrew Oles but it's an heavenly 
order. It's an heavenly command. It's a heavenly government. And that speaks louder than every other government organization above the earth, below the earth, on the earth. Because we take order from the creator of everything. And when we act in this capacity and our true identity, things become easily accessible. And God has taught us you know, that we, we're not a church you know, and that's, that is what is messing up the churches. We act as we are religious people. And religious people don't show the power of God. Look at the Sanhedrin council. Look at the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They know the scroll from back to front. But no power. No manifestation. Because they have no relationship. And when your identity is revealed to you and restored, it brings you a place where you know establish relationship. And you know, see the importance of relationship and maintaining your relationship with God. It is that relationship that started this church through the man of God. And it is that relationship that one Two, three, will send you send out the branches to continue the work. You see, people of God, when we come to the recognition of God, who God truly is to us, we cannot remain comfortable in our current state. We are pushed to grow. We are pushed to build. We are drived. A passion is now developing our life to drive us to a place of kingdom building. Because whilst he has gone to prepare a place for us, he has trusted us to establish his kingdom right here. Until he comes. And that's why the resurrection is important. So when you're preaching Christ, you're not preaching a dead God. But you're preaching life into dead people that will now receive that breath of life and restore it into their true identity. And that's why it's not good for us to judge a man or a woman out there. Because it's lost of identity to cause them to act out of character. So now when we preach the gospel, declare and sow the seed in their lives and let the Holy Spirit, because we can't save them, but what we can do, we can plant a seed and then the Holy Spirit do his work and when he does his work, germinate. Seed bursts forth into a tree and that's why the seed is sown in dead people. Dead to the character of God. So that the seed now bring forth life. The resurrection. Life. Restoration. Revival. Refreshing. And that is the life that you have on the inside. During the course of this week, remember, the tomb empty, man. You empty. Remember, good no man, the tomb empty. And where you, you think I was? Nobody try to look for me at this again. Because I am now a new creature. And that's why I believe the songwriter said, Hallelujah. You have won the victory.
You're seated in majesty. Play, man. I'm not singing my favorite part. Say, by your spirit, I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name, I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected. Resurrecting me, the resurrecting King is resurrecting me. Say that the resurrecting King is resurrecting me. Declare it the resurrected King is resurrecting me, the resurrected King. Is resurrecting me. Put your hands together for the Lord today. Somebody thank the Lord for giving us this word through his servant, Minister Grisando Christi. Go ahead, honor the Lord for his servant today. Hallelujah. Point your hands towards the man of God and just speak a word of blessing over him. Father, we thank you for him. We thank you for this word that you have placed in his belly for this house. The tomb is empty. You are the resurrection and you are the life. We thank you, O oh God, for this day. We thank you for the word that is life also. It is that word that was spoken from his mouth today that we receive in our hearts the seed of the word. We declare and we decree that through this word, dead things are coming alive. Through this word, that which was dead is now alive. Through this word, where we were, we are no longer there. We are no longer stuck in our past of defeat, our past of shame, our past of sin and the grave. But through this word today, we are risen with you, Christ Jesus, into newness of life. We thank you, O oh God, for this word. We thank you for your man's servant. We pray that you will continue to refresh him, continue to bless him, continue to restore him, continue to pour on him your oil. May his head never lack oil. Jimbaka. Oh, Father, continue to move him from strength to strength, faith to faith, and from glory to glory. We declare him blessed, his family to be covered in the mighty name of Jesus. We will give you all the glory. We will give you all the praise. Somebody clap your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. The resurrected king is resurrecting me. Before we close, we want to give somebody the opportunity. Listen, today is the perfect day for you to give your life to the Lord. For you to have resurrection power, you must have the man Christ Jesus. The songwriter says, I must have the Savior with me, for I dare not walk alone. I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me through. I'm calling somebody, this altar is open. You need to give your life to the Lord. You might have been with Christ, but you stepped off that narrow road. Today is the day you can come back to him. Today is the day you can step out of backslidden state. And you can come into newness and life. Somebody say resurrection life. Yes, we want to pray with somebody before you go. This altar is open. If you are unsaved, we want to pray with you ask the person beside you are you saved if they are not if they haven't accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior 
tell them you will walk with them. You will walk with them. I'll walk with you. Ask the person, have you accepted Jesus? If they haven't accepted Jesus, let them know that you'll walk with them. There's somebody coming. Put your hands together for this young lady. Hallelujah. Yes. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. Put your hands together for these two other young women. Oh, is resurrecting me. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. The resurrected King, the man Christ Jesus, is resurrecting. Oh, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your spirit, I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. The resurrected King. God bless you. Can somebody put your hands together for these five young women? I know you can do better than that church. Celebrate life. Celebrate resurrection. Celebrate resurrection. Hey! He's resurrecting. The resurrected King is resurrected me. I, I want to pray with one of those young men. Young men, God is calling you. God is calling you. Come. Come to Jesus. Why you have time. Come. Come to Jesus, make up your mind. He will, he will make your life brand new, brand new, Jesus. Oh, he will take care of you. Come to Jesus. Jesus, while you have time. Can we sing that one last time? Oh, come to Jesus. Is there one more person? While you have time. Yes, come, come to Jesus. Jesus, make up your mind. He will make your life brand new. He will take good care of you. Come to Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for these young people. They're all young. Two young men and these five young women. Can you clap your hands for this? Hallelujah. I want to pray with them before they go. Young man. Can I step into your life? Yes. The devil wants to destroy you. But Jesus loves you so much that he died for you. Mm. The devil wants to destroy you. But Jesus. Somebody say, but God. My God Almighty. I'm in your life. I don't even know what is this that you have around your neck. I don't see it. Take it out. Let me see it. Yes, man. Man of God, I'm calling you a man of God. I haven't even accepted Jesus good yet. But I'm telling you, 
the devil wants to destroy you. Before I saw this pendant, the Lord told me that the devil wants to destroy you. You see this? It is not of God. There are demonic spirits that are attached to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me tell you something, son. I'm praying for you. If you're serious about your life, don't wear this again. Point your hands towards him. Hallelujah. Do you believe that Jesus Christ, you believe that Jesus Christ was born? Yes? Believe that he died for you? Good. You believe that even though he was buried, just as the preacher preached today, do you believe that he was resurrected? Believe that? Good. You want to live for him? You want to live for Jesus? Yes. You want to live for Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. You might not understand all of this now, but don't worry. You will soon. The devil, his job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But the word of God says that Jesus comes to give life. Eternal life. This pendant, this goat head, is a symbol of the demonic. I didn't even see it. But the Lord revealed it to me. But I break every diabolical plan of the enemy over your life. Yes. Every demonic power that tries to hold you bound in sin is broken now. Let the church say broken. Yes. God is delivering you by his power right now. I step into your life and I go back even into curses that were formed in previous generations and I sever them. Every demonic attachment, every demon that is attached to you and your future I bind them now and rebuke them out of your life. In the name of Jesus. Let the church shout Jesus three times. Devil, this young man is for God. The streets shall not have him. Devil, demons from hell, you will not have him. He is loose today in the name of Jesus. Loose. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost in his life to burn everything that is not of you, Lord. Mm. We cancel the yoke of bondage. We break it. We sever it now. And we deliver him in the name of Jesus. Listen. Resurrection. They will look for you where they thought you were yesterday. But today, you're in a different place. Just as how Jesus rose from the dead and he stepped out of that tomb, you are coming out of that tomb of sin and the grave. Yes. What is your name, son? Omar. Jesus love you too. Mm-hmm. Jesus love you too. There's purpose in these young men. And the devil want to kill them. But the devil shall not have them. It is a day like this. Resurrection Sunday. After a message like that. You guys had to give your life to the Lord. Man of God. Your words spoken today shall not fall flat on the ground. They will go over to deliver many in-house and even those that are online are being delivered. Somebody say deliverance. Yes. I break the curse of bondage over his life now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke the plan of the enemy. I break the chains of bondage over his life. Hey, chains of darkness be broken over both of them. My God, 
Jesus, rescue you from the perishing. The devil shall not have you. The streets shall not claim your life. You belong to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You believe that Jesus was born. You believe that he died. You believe that he rose from the grave. Mm -hmm. That's good. What are you going to do about it? You want to live for Jesus? Yes. Clap your hands for both of them. They said they want to live for Jesus. Yeah, man. Jesus loves you too much to watch you lose your way and waste your life. My God Almighty. My youth, this have a come off of your neck today. Yes, take it off. Somebody bring one scissors. Pop it off. No worry. Once it has come, we'll cut it off for you. And the cut will cut it off for you. You're loose. Somebody say loose. Bring the scissors there, please. No worry yourself. We are cut it off. Give me the scissors there, please. Let the church say in the name of Jesus. Hold it, hold the card there. Yes. As I cut this, it is a prophetic symbol that this young man is loose. Loose. Lo let the church say loose. Loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the church go ahead and give God a praise. Nobody put it in your pocket. Yeah, put it on the altar. Yes. You're loose. Let the church say loose. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. Loose. Yes. I cover them. I cover them under the blood of Jesus. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. But you will live. And you will declare the works of the Lord. Mm. Let the church clap your hands and give the Lord glory. Young ladies, are you ready for Jesus? My God. The young men, ready for Jesus. Young ladies, you need to give your life to Jesus. Young people, this world is a very terrible place. You're living a risky life, living without Jesus Christ. Did you know that? You're living a risky life without Jesus. You need him in your life. My God. God is calling you. You know that. The call of God is on your life. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. The call of God is on this young lady's life. Even as I'm speaking now, there's conviction on you. God is calling you. You know, it's not the first time God called you. You've said no before. The Spirit of the Lord wants to hear yes. Let the church say yes. Mm. Say yes to him. Say yes to him. Let your heart speak to him right now. Yes. Tears are a language that God understands. There's light in the darkness. There's love that's true. Mm. Jesus is waiting. He's waiting there for you. So quickly come before he closed the door. My God. That's what this altar is for. Yes. Tell him yes. Let your heart speak to him. Tell him yes. Lord, I surrender. You don't have to carry these burdens anymore. There's light in the darkness. 
Mm. There's love that's true. Jesus is waiting. He's waiting there for you. So quickly come before we close the door. That's what this altar is for. Young ladies, if you're ready for Jesus and you want to live for him, hold up your hand and say, I'm ready for Jesus. She's ready for Jesus. She's ready for Jesus. She's ready for Jesus. Clap your hands for the three of them. All five of you, three of you ladies, both of you, lift up your hands and pray with me right now. Both of you are not ready for Jesus yet? Ready for Jesus? Yes. You want to live for him? You want to give your life to him? Very good. We're not force you. So if you're not, if you're not want to, no, no, we're not pressure you. All right? No pressure you. If you're not ready yet, it's a pastor, no pressure you. But let me know. Do you want to? Clap your hands and give the Lord praise. This young man wants to give his life. A little boy. Clap your hands for him. Come up here, sir, son. Man of God, you did very well. Because no matter how we Elo Masha and Kiko by cheer them, if nobody not give their life to Jesus, not now to go in their church. But you preach and look at the fruit of your word. Somebody say glory to God. Yes. Yes. Lift your hands. Let us help them pray. Say, Father, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for dying for me. I thank you that you shed your precious blood on Calvary. Talk loud. We can hear you. Yes. No, I hear you. I thank you that you died for me on Calvary. Yes, Lord, I'm brawling. Yes. I thank you that you died, you were buried, but you rose from the grave. Died, buried, but you rose. So that I can have life and have life more abundantly. Come into my heart today. Make me brand new. I declare that you are Lord and Savior of my life. Lord and Savior. I live for you today until my last day. Amen. Clap your hands for them. Now listen. It need not stop here, so. Your preacher talk about baptism, it's important. It's a powerful ordinance. We're going to have you give your information, your name to... Wave your hand there, Sister Donna. Right there. You're going to give your information to her. We're going to reach out to you. We're going to speak with you. Um, whose son is this? This little young man here. It? Oh, wow. wow. He's ready. Son Anika, I'm ready for Jesus. This little boy wants to give his life and baptize. Come up here so make them see you. Him little, you know, we're not in last in our crowd. Come. Put your hands together for him. What's your name, son? Dante. Dante. Dante is giving his life to the Lord and he's going to be baptized. Put your hands together for Dante. <laughs> Wonderful. Go ahead now, guys. All of you, just go to Sister Donna. She's going to take all your names, your information. Hallelujah. Go on, Dante. Put your hands together for them. Wonderful, beautiful young people. All of them. Is how is much of them? Eight of them? Eight of them. Eight. All right. We, we can go home now. Because the work is done. The work is done. Listen, we have to put in the work for souls, you know. The rice and peas is not going to wear. But we have to put in the work for souls. What she said, I can't hear her. 
New beginnings. It's eight of them. New beginnings. Oh my God. That's prophetic. The number eight. New beginning. Yes. You're in the spirit. Hallelujah. Everybody lift your hands for the benediction. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Amen and amen. God bless you, everybody. For the persons that were born in March, celebrations, don't worry, we have not forgotten you. We're going to do it for next week. <laughs> All right? <laughs> we have, we're going to do it for next week. Bless you, man of God. Bless you. Bless you. Greet somebody before you go. Let them know that you love them. <laughs> <laughs>